And welcome to the Church of St. Mary. We welcome all visitors and members of our area faith community to this afternoon's celebration of the liturgy. God has gathered us together to renew our efforts in sharing the life of Christ and being the love of Christ. So I invite you to stand and greet the presence of Christ we find in one another. Introduce yourself to those around you you might not know. Our gathering song this evening is number 305, number 305 in the Maroon Pew Hymnal, Our God is Here. Here in this time, here in this place, here we are standing face to face. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Here for the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And we cry, holy, holy, holy are you. We cry, holy, holy, holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here. Our God is here. Here in the Word, God is revealed. Here where the wounded can be healed. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Here we become what we receive. Here in this Eucharistic feast, we are his body, living as one, our God is here. And we cry, holy, holy, holy are you, we cry, Our God is here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everyone. We gather in prayer because our God is here, and we come to this Eucharistic feast, here to become what it is that we receive the bread of life, the one who came from heaven, that we might have life in his name. And so as we prepare our hearts to receive the gift of Christ in this Eucharist through word and sacrament, through this assembly gathered in prayer, let us first begin by acknowledging our need for the Lord's healing and forgiveness and mercy as we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are bread for all who hunger. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are forgiveness for all sinners. Christ, have mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are light for those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, Come, eat of my food, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. and see the goodness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord times. God's praise ever in my mouth. Glory in the Lord forever, and the lowly will hear and be glad. Taste and see the together extol God's name. I sought the Lord who answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to God that you might be radiant with joy and your faces free from all shame. The Lord hears the suffering souls and saves them from all distress. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live. Not as foolish persons, but as wise making the most of the opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine which lies in debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. servant is listening. Alleluia. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Now the Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still die, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Whoever eats and drinks remains in me, and I in them. 
There's a moment at Mass every time we celebrate this great feast. And the moment comes when the music stops and communion has been distributed. And depending upon how much of a hurry the priest is, <laughs> the people sit in silence, having received the body and the blood of Christ, having done that procession with our feet and our hands and our bodies and our minds and our hearts, having come forward and processed from the life that is ours to this gift that is now within us, we return to our cues and there's a moment of silence. I like to call it a, a moment of mini meditation. You know the part of the Mass I'm talking about. And it's right before the priest stands and again says, let us pray. I'll never forget that moment as an associate pastor here at the Church of St. Mary when I said that, let us pray again after communion, and the little boy sitting in the front row said, not again. <laughs> and he was probably speaking on behalf of everybody there. And we all laughed. But there's that moment, that, that mini meditation before that. I must confess, as a child growing up and having to go to Mass every single Sunday, it was my favorite part of the Mass. And I think it was my favorite part of the Mass because I knew as a child that at that moment we were just about done. But truth be told, I think there was more than that. I think as a child I liked that part of the Mass because, well, because there was something about Sister Constance who taught me about a love for the Eucharist that was was deep down inside of me, and she always would tell us kids, now remember, remember kids, when you celebrate your first communion, and every time after that, you become what you eat. So those words somehow just kept, kept resonating with me, I think, as a child. And of course, now if you look at me, I can tell, you can probably tell I'm about 60% chicken. <laughs> if that is true. I don't know, I just like chicken. It's what I eat a lot. So if you are what you eat, well, I'm 60% chicken, which is probably the reason why my friends on the playground would call me just that. You're just a chicken. They saw right through me. Ah, back to the serious moment, that mini meditation. So as a child, for me, it was because, of course, it was just about done, and there was something about the mystery of what it was that we were receiving and somehow how it was supposed to make a difference in my life. And yet, and yet I knew as a child that as quickly as that host had dissolved in my mouth, I was probably as quickly no longer being as loving in the body of Christ to my siblings as I should. It was like almost gone by the time we got into the station wagon on the way home, as we started fighting again. And yet, today, we sang in that opening hymn about how our God is here. We sang these words, we are his body living as one. We are his body living as one. What does that mean? What does it mean when we hear Jesus says, whoever eats and drinks remains in me and I in them? And then we sing those beautiful words that we are his body, but we are to live as one. Well, for me, what that means is now that I'm, well, getting close to adulthood and I'm celebrating Mass and I get to that moment when the music stops and I'm sitting in my chair and I allow myself and the assembly just to sit for a moment during that mini meditation. I begin to realize that that is a moment of grace because it's an opportunity for all of us to realize what it means to be the body living as one. And so in that moment of mini meditation, I would invite all of us 
both today and each time we celebrate the Eucharist, to understand that the only way in which Christ remains in us and we and him is that we have to eat and we have to drink and we have to live as one. And in order to do that, we have to realize who is it that we are in communion with. Because when we come up with our hands and our feet, when we process, we are processing up, down these aisles, everything of who we are. So during that moment of mini meditation, I call to mind the fact that there's people in our assembly who don't want to be here. And they're only here because mom and dad are forcing them to be here. And I'm mindful of the fact that there's people here in the assembly during that moment of mini meditation, people who have just received a diagnosis this past week, a diagnosis that is frightening, a diagnosis that is paralyzing, a diagnosis that leaves them uncertain as to what a future might even look like or how much of a future there's going to be. I'm mindful of during that mini meditation of what it means for you and I to live as the body of Christ living as one. I'm mindful of the fact that there's people in this assembly who are struggling in their marriage. And there's people in this assembly who are celebrating a wedding anniversary. And there's people in this assembly who are struggling with a bout of depression. And there's people in this assembly who are having to take their children who are now young adults and to drop them off at college this coming week for the very first time. And quite literally, as parents, they're scared to death because they don't know what it means or how it's going to be to let go. And yet, my friends, that's what that mini-meditation invites you and I to be mindful of, that we all process the same way, down an aisle, to eat and to drink so that we might remain in Christ and he in us. But the Christ that remains in us is the body and we, we are his body living as one. And the only way we can live as one is that we have to be mindful of the fact that there's all those kinds of people that we are in communion with here in this celebration. So as we receive Christ, as we become what it is that we eat. We realize that to be the body of Christ means that during that moment, that little, quiet, mini meditation moment is our moment to join our lives and our worries and our accomplishments and our joys and our satisfactions and our fears with everybody else that has likewise come down these aisles and has held out their hands and has received what we have received. And then together, in communion with one another, we become the body of Christ, living, living as one. I love that mini-meditation. It affords you and I the opportunity to remember that when we eat and when we drink, we remain in him and he in us. We remain in communion with one another, the body of Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As the body of Christ living as one, we now turn to our Lord, offering to him our needs and prayers. For the church, that the people of God find strength for their journey in the most holy Eucharist, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of wisdom among world leaders, for honesty and integrity in their decision-making, and for collaboration that seeks the common good, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ability to be still and silent in our hearts, allowing the bread of Jesus to transform us in order to live in accordance with the Lord's love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those to whom we have promised our prayers, for those who live with depression, dementia, or addiction, and for those who love and care for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick of our parish family, and for those who are now living eternally in the love of God, remembering Virgil Wallen, and Vi and Annie Loftgren, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For wisdom to see what matters most in this life, and for courage to abandon what is foolish. Lord, fill us with trust in your will for us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of glory, we thank you for the gift of the bread that has come down from heaven. And we pray that this Eucharistic feast might help us as the body of Christ continue to live as one, that your Son might remain in us and we in him. Hear us as we pray. Answer these petitions according to your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. I would invite our children to bring their offering forward. Let us sing together, Worthy is the Lamb, number 574 in the Maroon Pew Hymnal or on the screens in front of you, number 574. Thank you. 
salvation and joy belong now to us by conquering death and rising to new life we become a people of praise worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory worthy are the ones who believe to of God. Worthy are you, O risen Christ, wonders and signs revealing your might, your power and glory shine upon our lives. We become a light for the world. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our offering, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat the 
this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, with all the clergy and with all your people. Remember also our sisters and our brothers who have died in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Together we now pray for our daily bread as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those now called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please join in singing Gift of Finest Sweet, number 324, in the Maroon Pew Hymnal, number 324, or on the screens in front of you. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift the finest sweet. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gifts sweet. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Is not the cup we bless and share, the blood of Christ outpoured? Do not one cup, one loaf declare, our oneness in the Lord. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. The mystery of your presence, Lord, no mortal tongue can tell, whom all the world cannot decay, comes in our hearts to dwell. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. You give yourself to us, O Lord, then selfless let us be to serve each other in your name, in truth and charity. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to Let us continue singing number 329, Bread Blessed and Broken. Jesus, you're the one I love. You're the one I know. You're the one who makes me strong. Spirit in my soul, from the cloud of yesterday, through the night of pain, teach me, Lord, to know your way, 
know it once again. Bread blessed and broken for us all. Symbol of your love from the grain so tall. Bread blessed and broken life you give to us, bread of life for Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we go, I just want to take the opportunity and invite you to join with me in thanking uh, a young lady that we all know because, of course, she's here just about every Saturday evening and just about every Saturday evening she's been called upon to be one of the altar servers. And she has done this all the way through her senior year, through graduation, and believe it or not, this week she goes off to college. Can you imagine? Uh, but how often do you find a young lady that dedicated that still being an altar server a couple of days before she heads to college. So please join with me in thanking McKenna Hogan. Thank you, McKenna. So. And just remember, you'll be on the schedule to serve when you come home for a holiday. Our Mass has now ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. And let us go forth singing number 598, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. They who follow me will have the light of says Lord have no fear within you for in my presence there will be no darkness I am the light of the world I am the light of the world says the Lord they who follow me will have the light of life walk in the light there is no cause to stumble I have come to light the path before you I am the light of the world I am the light of the world says the Lord they who follow me will have the light of life listen to my words they are from the one who sent me for you my friends are called to share god's glory you are the light of the world i am the light of the world says the lord they who follow me will have the light of life